Hey yo, how you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing alright. I hope you guys are doing okay, terrific, magnificent, because I am doing great as well. It's cold, but I told you I was gonna come out and do whatever I set my mind to. So here I am, feeling cold as all hell, to record this video for you. If you're new here, my name is Panda, and you're watching Panda Circus. That's just a little a channel related to circus. Oh my god, someone's gonna run me over. Okay, a channel related to circus, art, sports, whatever you're into, feel welcome to be here because I'm gonna be sharing with you my journey to greatness. Yes, people are staring at me right now, but who gives a damn? Okay, so let's go. And before I forget, make sure you subscribe to this channel right now, click the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything whenever it is a new video. There are some cool ass projects come up in the future and I hope you can join them with me because I'm going to create a lot of crazy things. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode number two of Things I've Learned with Circus. Repetition. All right, so many of you might have heard of repetition and what repetition can do for you, but I'm gonna share with you my point of view of repetition and what I've seen throughout the 13 years of doing circus and traveling and seeing a lot of people that uh, achieve greatness. Okay, so going on. Repetition is the mother of all greatness. So greatness comes with repetition. So I'm gonna tell you my part and then I'm gonna tell you what I've experienced throughout the years okay so my part is I was a really really chubby kid when I was little and then I joined the circus and I wanted to do so bad I wanted to learn how to do round off I wanted to learn how to do a backhand spring a backflip and I was really really fat and chubby so I could do it by rep repeating every single day I, Monday to Friday I would go to the circus I would walk like 20 to 30 minutes that was like away from my house with my brother and then there we used to do everything juggling aerial tumbling everything everything that there is in the circus we used to do over there and I could learn to do a lot of stuff because I would go and repeat the same trick over and over again I'm not saying 10 I'm not saying 20 I'm saying 200 2,000 times the same thing 2,000 times the same roundup to get until you get to the point that you cannot miss that everything you do you're gonna do it correctly not everything but like the trick you've been training for a while you're gonna do it correctly that's my point like it took me like three months to learn how to climb the silks actually it took me three months to learn how to like climb the silks so like I kept repeating over and over and over now I can easily go up the silks without even using my leg So you might have also have heard of people that were born talented. At some point I believe it, and in some other, there's this phrase that my brother told me once that is like this. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. So this is what I mean by repetition. When you do your repetition, when you work, when you do your progress that you have to go to, when you do that movement like a hundred times, a hundred thousand times, when you practice that set of skills for like 10,000 hours, you're gonna achieve greatness. I remember it was the year of 2009 or 2010, 11, I don't really remember. And I went backstage in Cirque du Soleil Kidon when I was back in Brazil. You know what I mean? It was a long time ago. So my friend worked there for like for a season and then he joined, like he invited me to go backstage. And I remember seeing this particular woman, she was like training Lyra and like it was the show was about to start i entered like like one and a half hours before the show started and i swear to god that she was there training the same trick the same movement over one hour like it was like one hour literally one hour doing the same trick over and over and over and over and over again and she nailed the show she was amazing I remember that I was like I was talking to my brother and he was like 
oh my god, that woman doesn't stop doing the same movement like she's been doing for over an hour. Okay, so going back to me. So I learned like many years ago, I learned how to do the backflip. And I've done it over and over and over again. But there was a point that I was like, okay, I've nailed this already. And then it was like before the show happened and then we were doing like a backflip off for like a some sort of contest on the asphalt. And I landed with my face first on the asphalt and it hurt like hell. And then my face were all cramped before the show. And then I had to wear a lot of makeup so people didn't like notice it. All because I didn't repeat myself. So after that, like, Something clicked and it's like, okay, if I want to nail this, I've got to repeat myself. I've got to do that over and over and over again. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up this video over here. I hope you can see my face really well because I had to delete another video because my face was not showing because of the shadows and everything. So I really hope you guys are having an amazing week. And I just want to say that I deeply believe that you can reach greatness by repetition. If you can't do something, do that again and again and again. There were some points that I threw up because I was doing it too much. And you can see by Arnold Schwarzenegger and all those guys you see in the big screen, they all got there by repeating, by doing over and over and over again. And you see the people that are in the big companies and they achieve greatness in whatever they do, they only reached their place because they repeated and they tried it over and over and over again. And I'm done repeating myself for now because I think you get the point now. But I'm gonna wrap it up the video over here. I really hope you guys liked it. This is video four of the week. Today is Thursday and this week I'm gonna be posting seven videos. So this is video number four. So I really hope you're enjoying this set of videos. Next week I'm gonna have a lot of things planned and I'm gonna share with you in this channel. So, but for now, that's gonna be it. I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, click the notification button, and like the video, and maybe share with a friend. I really believe this message can get to your heart, and maybe you send this to a friend that's needing it, and then you guys go out and train together, and then teamwork makes a dream work, baby. You gotta risk it to get some biscuits. All right, thank you so much for watching this video, and my hands are so tired of holding this phone this way. And I hope to see you in the next video. Lots of love. Bye-bye.